Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing and somewhat bad news when it comes to some leaked comments we saw from Sony, some scalper information, some actually first-hand scalper information too as well, and overall how the entire market is kind of coming when it comes to the PlayStation, Xboxes, scalpers, restocks, literally everything. This is actually kind of some bad news we're going to be talking about over here, and this is also coming from Forbes themselves, which is usually a pretty reputable actual uh, art, like articulate. <laughs> I don't think it's the right word article maker whatever you know publication whatever the proper word for it is so we have a lot of stuff going to be talked about for this one we have a lot of quotes to kind of talk on in and kind of someone also getting the insight on some scalpers and kind of what they're doing how they're doing it and why they are still actually scalping too as well so we have a very very intriguing video going on over here so if you guys will sit back relax and enjoy and hopefully you guys will go and subscribe with the notifications on if you guys are brand new and trying to get your console we also do have a ps5 giveaway going on so make sure you guys are sub for that and use the link tree links down below and get those bonus entries on Twitter and also the second YouTube channels as well. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream linked down below if you guys want to follow. Amazon links for the PS5 controllers, the actual consoles themselves and warehouses and everything always linked down below. And of course, Weeble, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100 and you guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. It's always linked down below. Like the video, comment down below your thoughts because this is definitely going to be one I want you guys to go and talk about. Let's go dive in the actual video itself. So, we have this video over here from Forbes itself, like I mentioned, that the PS5 restock problem is literally about to go and get worse. So let's go talk about this. Coming in a little, a little bit of an edgy headline going on over here. A leaked quote from a senior executive at Sony that it expects the PlayStation 5 shortage to last until 2022 has been met with jubilation by resellers or who are earning tens of thousands of dollars from desperate console buyers. And once again, we actually had a scalping article literally earlier on today. I am so anti scalping and I'm 100% against any of this stuff. Like I'm, I'm a zillion percent against this. So try your best to never go and buy from scalpers because this is ridiculous. Excellent news, though, is there is still easy money to be made and that news from Sony will cause people to become even more desperate, said Adam, who is a prolific PlayStation 5 reseller. He has bought and sold 10 PlayStation 5 consoles at an inflated price so far. Bloomberg recently reported that Sony's chief financial officer, Hiroki Tokoki, told analysts that after a financial results briefing that I don't think that the demand is calming down this year or even if we secure a lot more devices that produce many more units of the PlayStation 5 next year, our supply wouldn't be able to catch up with demand, which both these are kind of true. We are still seeing a lot of scalpers, a lot of people setting up bots, a lot of just people doing pretty much everything when it comes to all these consoles, trying their best to go and scalp and get as many as they can to go keep on reselling on the market as the market's going hot. They want to make money. They want to, they see like a money bag symbols. They want to go for it. And as well, even Sony themselves have said on multiple different times, we, it's hard to make consoles. We're in a pandemic. We have a lot of production issues. It's a lot of hard things for the chips as well. Everything is very constrained. We're trying our best. We have a lot of options. We're working towards stuff. And even Jim Ryan is like, we're going to be trying our best to make more consoles. But it is hard and it is like still an uphill battle from here to make more of them. But they were trying their best. So always give a thumbs up for them. So we basically also have the Japanese company has sold over 8 million consoles now because, you know, we give it like an extra like month or so. And it plans to sell at least another 14.8 million will total until the current fiscal year. According to Bloomberg, that puts the console on course to match the PS4 giant sales figures, which is a 116 million to date, which is still insane. But the severe chip shortages are stopping Sony from meeting demand. It's not just the consoles, cars, TVs, toothbrushes, wash machines, and virtually any modern tech that's also been affected. This, of course, though, and kind of our, like the main focus of this article here, is good news for people raking in thousands of dollars from scalping. Another reseller I spoke to, Mike, with his like a fake name, said that he's also sold 10 PS5 consoles so far, from which he has made over 2,000 euros in profit, which is insanity. That's, that's actually quite a bit of money just for kind of doing something casual on the side, depending on how much time you put into it. The only thing stopping him from selling more has been is the actual university dissertation. Mike claims a university friend who also resells scooped up 30 consoles from UK retailer Argos, which dropped new stock late last night, two weeks ago, late at night, two weeks ago. A telegram dedicated to stock updates that I follow confirmed that Argos released stock on May 11th between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., from which some users managed to buy the Sony console. So we're still seeing a lot of these scalpers come over here. They're still trying their best to get consoles. If they see it, they get it early. They want to yoink it. They're going to go and buy them ASAP. They, they're trying their best and they want to get their consoles the fastest they possibly can, which is very, very nice to see. Almost all the resellers I've spoken with 
are either in their early 20s and or students making money on the side. But Mike's reselling efforts far exceed others I've spoken with. Screenshots he shared with me of his PayPal account show sales of over $60,000 in 2020. That's not just consoles, though. He's also doing, you know, sneakers, clothes, GPUs, and especially the 3090s, which is like the highest tier GPU. And then Mike plans to put this money towards buying a house in London. <sighs> I don't know what is it is with all these scalpers. I So even like the title of the article is basically saying how hard it is to get a console. Even Sony's realizing there's issues with it. And then we just have all these people out there trying their best to go and make as much money as they can, get as many products as they can, take, it, take away as many products as they can too as well from all these desperate people. And this just breaks my heart always consistently seeing this. Like it really honestly does. Now I get it though. Like I respect the hustle. I get it. Like if you have a family, you're trying to make money, you have your own financial goals, it's easy money. I get it. I understand it. I still think it's kind of gross because like, you're still taken away from someone. I get schemes. I understand it. Like I understand like want to make, you know, hustle, make money. But for me, at least from my mindset, I like it when I could do something that's either helping someone or also trying their best not to harm someone at the same time. And there's people out there that are spending a lot of time, waste a lot of time, or even have to spend extra hard earned money of theirs to get these consoles and that these people are profiting off of. Like they're basically profiting off of desperation. And I'm very anti-scalper when it comes to that. Here's another uh, scalper too as well. Adam is also enjoying the current scarcity of on-demand items. The leaked quote from Sony will keep resellers in business. As he explains, it would have had a little difference in price had Sony kept quiet, but telling people this will just cause more demand and resellers now that they know there is going to be a large restock frequency, so their money is safe in PS5s. Which is actually kind of true too as well. Like basically if like they knew that Sony was making like 50 million consoles this next year, they'd probably be like, all right, I'm going to sell it. Like let me sell it before, you know, things get hot. But the fact that Sony's kind of teeter-tottering a lot, and we kind of noticed it a lot on the channel, where sometimes they're like, yeah, it's going to be coming soon, and yeah, we're working on it, but yeah, there's still going to be issues and, you know, chips and all that. It kind of makes like a lot of scalpers being like, okay, I can keep on um, buying, I can buy 10 consoles and even sit on them because I'm not going to be losing money on it. They're not going to be flooding the market, which is kind of going and kind of just even sad to go and well, see in the first place. Uh, basically, the price won't go down. The news from Sony will only scare prospective buyers who now think if they don't buy one now, they won't have a chance later in the year, which is definitely 100% not true. I'm telling you guys, one zillion percent, boys. <laughs> just saying, like, you guys, there's going to be so many more drops going to keep on coming. Sony's going to try their best to make as many consoles, and they've sold millions already. It's just the more issues, like, the demand is so high, and that's why it's, you know, like, so hard to get. Uh, here is Sami Mahed, who runs a popular PS5 restock account, PS5 UK Stock Alerts says more people are joining for uh, alert news. We've been gaining followers. However, drops have been more scarce than ever, especially last month, because of the lack of drops, there are more people coming in to get alerts, which is kind of actually true too as well. I'm actually still getting a lot of new subs. If any of you guys are new subs, go and say hi. But I keep on getting new subs and people trying to get all their consoles, which I think is always really cool, because I want to try my best to help you guys the best I can. Like, I want you guys to get your consoles, and I want you guys to do good. Uh, Bentley PS5 resellers was already difficult before the leaked Totoki quote. There are dedicated groups that monitor stack updates using a system called Street Merchant and empty bots to scoop up as many consoles as possible. The bots can bypass 3D security on an additional layer of security, which verifies that the buyer is a legitimate card owner on a retailer's website and check out the console in under three seconds. And not many humans can really compete with that. I mean, they probably haven't seen my fingers, boys, but jeez <laughs> jeez it's just in to me like my kind of thoughts on this it's insane on how much money these scalpers are making it's insane on how their demand is still this high this late into the actual console's life cycle like it's literally been what like over six months now and it's also insane too that people are literally buying things from scalpers like my i love the people with the mindset that are like i am never gonna buy from a scalper ever because that's how I was. I, we, I've been trying my best. Everything we ever go do, like even our PS5 giveaways, we try our best to get those legitimately and trying our best to kind of hook up someone with it because I know how hard it is to go get these consoles. And it's kind of crazy just to go and see that there are so many like scalpers and so many of them are still out there in the first place. Like it's actually insane, boys. It's actually it's actually insane. Uh, but yeah, give me your thoughts down below. And also to kind of find out this article, but until recently, resale market stock X previously told me that the PS5 resale prices were leveling off, dropping by 20% since November when the console was released, which is still good to see. We are still seeing like the actual prop like prices going down. And basically the more you wait, the longer you wait, the better it is, the more money you're going to save and the more money you're going to make. And also you're going to feel so good whenever you do get your consoles. Cause I keep on seeing people coming to my Twitch stream on Twitter, on YouTube comments, confirming that they got their console. So don't feel too, too bad. You guys are all fine. Just keep on trying your best. Make sure you guys are subbed, and I'll try my best to give you guys one ASAP. 
And it's also too early to tell if Totoki's comments will change that, or if it's more flagship games like Return will increase demand, but Scalper is currently holding stock, or betting it will. So basically, like, the whole point of this article is saying that a lot of these scalpers think they can keep on making money, they're going to keep on botting, and they're going to keep on trying their best to make as many console buys as they can, which does make a lot of the stuff a little bit harder for all of us normal folks, because if you have bots, it's really hard to compete with those. And same with people that are just like, you know, used to drops, used to like things in general, if they can buy up five consoles if the retailer allows it, and it does make it kind of hard. Like this is bad news that a lot of scalpers are still into it. And the one major thing for me, and I will say this will be a huge like percentage increase for everyone, is whenever scalpers can kind of go and calm down and relax all their like you know attention towards these restocks it'll be a lot easier a lot cheaper and then maybe if someone really does want to buy from a scalper for an extra 100 bucks that's okay like 100 bucks sure that's fine but for paying an extra 300 dollars 400 dollars 500 dollars absolutely not like no <laughs> so that's kind of my thoughts on this i just can't wait for a lot of these consoles to keep on getting more in stock more walk-ins so we don't have to deal with bots and kind of go from there. So I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well. Make sure you guys are subbed for the ongoing PS5 giveaway and use the link tree links down below for bonus entries. We have the Amazon links down below for the controllers and consoles link down below as well. The Weeble, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. Follow the Twitter and Twitch. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your days, nights, and evenings. And you guys are all fantastic. Love you guys. And hopefully you guys don't have to deal with any scalpers. <laughs>